Hey everybody, welcome back to Down and Dirty Modding. Last time we put in our Intermax Neo Changer Reservoir and this time in our Fractal R4 we're going to be installing the radiators. Um, we've already started a little bit of pre-work. Uh, as you can see on our Fractal here, we have gone in with a Dremel and cut out the crossbar that split off our five and a quarter base from the rest of our uh, uh, fan cage, I guess. And the Fractal did come with a cage for the fans. so. There weren't actually any mounts in here that we could tie fans onto or radiators. So we're going to have to go in and make us a plate. And in order to get that to set flat, I had to go in and take out a little lip that they had installed for all this other stuff to set in. Uh, so with that out of the way, we can now make us an aluminum plate that will mount in place. We can uh, cut it out for our radiators to sit on and then we'll be ready to rock and roll and install our tubing. So, Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, like I said, I, I pulled all that stuff out. I've got a little bit of video for it. Sparkly metal stuff. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use some 6061 aluminum. This is 0.08 inch, I believe, to make our, our plate up here. We're going to first measure out uh, how big of a piece we can fit in here. And what we're going to do is go from our motherboard tray, which is pretty much the end of it. Um, if we had done this bracket before we built the motherboard tray, we could have gone all the way across the front, but since we didn't, we can't. So we're gonna go from motherboard tray to just shy of these holes that run down the side here. Um, those are where our front panel or our front bezel snaps in. So we don't wanna get in the way of that. Otherwise we'll have to make some adjustments to let it uh, snap in. So we'll go ahead and come up just a little bit short, make us a panel, then uh, I've got four holes here Three of them were pre-existing. One of them I went ahead and just kind of matched up to everything else. Uh, we got four holes that is going to mount the plate to the case. And then we'll go in and we will cut us an interesting design that will allow us to mount our radiators up. Uh, while also looking kind of interesting from the front. Because I'm not sure what's happening with the front bezel. Uh, it may end up being mesh. It may end up being nothing at all. Um, so I want to keep it interesting from the front. So let's go ahead and get into measuring our piece out, getting it cut, and laying out our radiators. All right, now with that piece cut, we can go ahead and put it in our case. And if we get a clamp or two, what we're doing is we're butting it up against our motherboard. And we're gonna, there's a, a small tab up here uh, that separates the wire from what used to be the five and a quarter. We're gonna butt it up against that. that. I didn't feel like taking that out since it does do kind of hide the wires. Um, we're gonna butt this sucker up. And take our clamps to hold it in place so we can mark our cutouts or our uh, mounting holes. We're just going to take a pen and, and mark these out and I've got four in here. These are like say original rivet holes for the drive cages and I just went ahead and added a, a fourth one to get this bottom corner taken care of. So mark those out. And we're gonna drill those out and then tap them for 632 screws. And then we'll just mount them through the case.
Okay, now that we've got our bracket mounted up, put into place, we've got a front panel that we can mount anything we want to. Uh, what we're doing is mounting up three 120 millimeter uh, X, uh, XT45 radiators from Alpha Cool. Um, I went with these because I had them laying around. That's how it works sometimes. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically stack them all in a big 360 setup. Uh, there is. It does, it does cause some issues versus a standard radiator. So if you were going with the normal 360, uh, basically if, if you had a newer case that had a mounting spot where three fans could be shoved in, uh, you more than likely could just mount your radiator to it and go from there or mount your fans and then your radiator. Uh, with the fractal, we don't have that option because the drive sit in a cage. Uh, we end up having to make the plate. Uh, with these radiators, um, Right now, if it was just a 360, we could use a template, cut it out, uh, make sure it's centered up, and just go with it. Uh, and, and also, could probably mount the radiator flush to this bracket, or I guess I can call it a panel. It's not really a bracket. Um, but we can mount the radiator flush to it, put the fans on the back for a pull setup, put the fans on the outside for a push, um, do a whole lot of different things. These, since they are six port, 120 millimeter setups, uh, we can't use a template because our spacing right about here uh, where the radiators meet may not wind up the same as what a standard radiator would be, which is like 15 to 20 millimeters. Um, I think they're going to wind up being about 20 uh, from my measurements earlier, but um, they may end up a little bit bigger or a little bit less. I doubt they'll be less. These things aren't going to be spaced out very far. Um, and then on top of that, with them being six ports and there being three of them, We've got all these back ports on the back side of them, and we've also got them on this end as well. But all these ports on the back side, um, when you try to mount this flush to anything, these ports are too tall, and so you wind up having them catch the, whatever you're mounting to first. So I've got to take into account that they're in the way. So what we've wound up having to do is, uh, basically we're gonna have to put the fans to the bracket or the panel and mount them from the back, That'll be our spacer for putting a radiator on uh, and keep these uh, plugs, geez, plugs out of the way. Um, and also, I, it, I think it does kind of help us in, in getting back from this, um, the, the side of our frame here, because I might be doing a little bit of tubing through these outside ones and I'm not sure how close I'm gonna wind up being. I'll be kind of close, but not super close. Um, so, you know, this is this is one of those deals where the choice of case and the choice of radiator setup has has necessitated a <laughs> a lot of work, basically. Um, but in the end, hopefully, it'll be a cool cool looking mod. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find the center of this um, and kind of mark out. I think I'm going to draw around just so I know where I'm I'm dealing with the stuff as far as what I can go past and what I can't. Uh, so I want to mark out the existing hole in the front of this panel. Um, we'll go ahead and find the center, top to bottom. We'll figure out where our radiator is going to mount on that and get those holes um, marked out for our mounts and get them drilled. Now, um, on a 120, they're always 105 millimeters apart because uh, that's a 120 fan spacing. Um, so all the screw holes, 105. So we can find the center one and then work the rest of that mount from that. Um, and that's what we'll be doing. Then we'll have to figure out a way to open that panel up to let air into these. And I think what I'm going to do, since we've got our motherboard that kind of floats in here, uh, I'm going to try to make the radiators look like they float as well, and the fans. So what I'm going to do is try to open up this front as much as I can while leaving basically two strips for the uh, fans to tie onto. So basically this will be a big empty space. There'll be a little bit aluminum across the top and the bottom just because we have to tie it all together and then it'll be basically two straight or two uh i don't know what you even call them two strips of aluminum that will hold everything up and this aluminum is thick enough it should be able to pull that off uh and i'm gonna have to watch how thick i leave those strands just to make sure that they've got the strength to not not buckle. It shouldn't be an issue since we're tying everything into this larger case, which gives it a little more structure. Uh, but I am going to leave them probably a little wider than I want, just so that I don't have to worry about uh, anything buckling on me at any point in time. So, 
Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. Let's mark this out and start getting it cut and laid out and all that jazz. So. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our, our first radiator. And to do that, we're going to start at the center, which is where I'm going to uh, center everything up at, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I'm going to measure uh, whatever half of 105 is above and below that center line. And then I'm going to measure uh, the same off the center side to side. Uh, that's going to give me a couple of, uh, give me my four screw holes. They should mount the first radiator. Then I can figure out my spacing between radiator screws. Uh, to do my next set and then go 105 millimeters from that and that will give me my outsides of my radiator So we're gonna mark those out drill those out and then we'll lay out a design that we're gonna cut out with a jigsaw That'll open all this up yet still let us mount it. So let's go ahead and get into that Now that we got that drilled out, and uh, and you'll notice I was using a drafting square instead of a regular square. That's because I think I got this in the case a little bit off-centered, um, which makes everything a little bit weird. But when I squared it up at the top of the case, it's just a hair off. So I wanted to stick with what the case was and not what the bracket is. So I'm going to take some uh, fans and just make sure that I've got everything kind of squared up. So uh, or everything drilled in the right spot. I'm not going to mount anything, but I want to be sure that when I stick the screw holes through, <laughs> the screws through, they all hit a hole, basically, is what I'm hoping for. fits we can go in and we can start laying out our design basically what we want to do is we want to leave these strips where our screw holes are and like maybe three millimeters four millimeters on the side we want maybe like a seven millimeter and eight millimeter wide strip uh, going down through where these screw, hole, screw holes are and where these screw holes are and then we want to take and leave us a strip for our mounts on the side so something where I mean, it's going to be behind the, the case anyway, so uh, we want to leave this so it mounts up really nice. And we're going to have to leave a little bit of a tab on the bottom and the top um, just so that uh, it ties everything together. But we want to take basically a strip here, a big section here, and a strip here on the side and take that out and make it uh, look a little cooler. So we'll lay that out, use a jigsaw, cut it out and then we'll be ready to mount everything up and see if it fits.
All right, so we got that all cut out. It's a, uh, it's a bit rough. It looks pretty bad actually, since it's it's cockeyed uh, compared to the outside edge. Hopefully, when I get it in there, it actually straightens up. Um, probably need to uh, hit it with a file as well, just to clean up my edges. But for right now, we're just going to make sure it fits. Uh, so we are going to put it into our uh, case, see how how it looks. Basically, this is kind of one of those things where. Um, being a bit off uh, may not be a huge deal, especially if it's just for yourself and you know your it's your last piece of aluminum and you're tired of working on it and you just want it to be done. Um, there's a certain level that that passes. Uh, whereas if this was say a competition build, this probably would not cut it, um, and we'd have to go back and actually cut one that's way square or way more square than this one is. But we're gonna put it in, see what it looks like, um, and then uh, set our uh, our radiators up in there and if it's one of those things where uh, a new it's bad enough that a new one needs to be cut we'll cut a new one out but uh, hopefully this will pass and I think I've got it upside down yeah I've got it upside down so it makes it look even, even worse so actually that doesn't I don't think that comes out too bad I do like uh, getting all the screws kind of put in before I tighten them down just so if I need some wiggle room I've got it because Lord knows I miss getting these exactly right all the time. I'm not a machine, amazingly enough. Which is probably pretty obvious by how out of square this whole thing is. <laughs> okay, there's that. Doesn't look horrible. Um, I can definitely tell where I, where I got out of square at the top, um, but as far as the rest of it goes, it actually is pretty passable. So if this was, was cleaned up, it'd look a whole lot better, I'm sure. Um, now we need to mount our radiators with everything in there, see if they fit. And how we're going to go about this, we're going to have the fan and then the radiator sitting behind it, so we can go ahead and slide our screws through to hold our fans up. And we'll just put the top two in. It stays. Stay. We can take a radiator. My dog's barking at stuff. I wonder what. Um, and we'll start these. And that'll kind of hold that all together. I need a different screw. Let's get that back a hair. Now that you've seen what I've done, so I can see what I'm doing. This is one of those spots where I think if I'd had three or a, a 360 radiator, uh, this would have felt a lot better putting together. It's a little wobbly. Um, not something I'm horribly concerned about since we're going to be using flex tubing and, and I'll probably have another piece up here to hold it steady. But uh, I would have been happier with a little more secure. What are you doing, Dazer? What are you barking at up there, huh? What are you barking at? What are you doing? Huh? Trying to get on camera? You trying to be a star? You gonna go lay down? Go lay down somewhere. <laughs> or not. You know, whatever you feel like.
already looking better than my first attempt. Definitely say that. Okay. All right, so uh, <laughs> let me look at it. Oh yeah, it looks good. Um, uh, came out. Uh, man, I wish it was a little more secure. Uh, but it's kind of one of those things. Like I say, it's not going to hurt anything that it can move like that. Uh, there's not going to be anything messing with it. Uh, came out pretty good. I do like the first time I did this I, I put strips across this way and I didn't really like how it looked um, I do need to go through and straighten all this stuff up and honestly I could go back in and use these lines to square my outside up uh, To make it look there's a little gap right here that I could take out uh, Just by trimming this edge down uh, and I might do that whenever I go in to uh, uh, Clean everything up might even put another screw or two down at the bottom because that's a little wobbly down there. Uh, definitely actually needs it. Uh, one more at the bottom on each side. That would take care of all this. And um, yeah, I like it. That's how you make a bracket for a radiator. And you know, it's basically figure out what design you want on the outside, uh, what holes you need for everything on the inside, and cut it out. It's pretty simple. Um, and that took me maybe an hour, hour or so. Uh, with the work uh, going back and forth with everything so uh, not that hard a lot of it comes in in the planning stages uh, to make sure that you're going to be clearing what you need to clear um, you see inside we've got just enough clearance on the back uh, if we put our, our reservoir in uh, it's actually very close within like half an inch but that's going to work uh, it, it doesn't have to be that far away I put that reservoir there too uh, specifically have enough room between everything um, so that I could fit fans and the radiators in here uh, it's gonna help I think for the fans on the outside but you know whatever life happens um, next time we're gonna go in and we'll start doing our tubing runs I uh, have a few ideas for how to hook all these up and make it look like something um, and then uh, you know we'll have our reservoir in here and our, our CPU uh, that way we can loop everything around uh, we'll also probably have to have the GPU on hand just because we want to make sure we don't put anything where the GPU is supposed to be uh, and we get our clearances around it. But uh, other than that, this part of the project is done. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And if you like the video, like it, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, what were we talking about? The uh, LCS, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and check back next time and we'll start putting the tubing in this sucker. Alright guys, uh, have a good one and go out and mod something.